buddy. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. <coughs> we have a very cold and overcast Sunday, May 7th here. Uh, it's been raining off and on and kind of got a little bit of sprinkles going right now. According to the forecast, this is the last day of rain. It's still going to be chilly. It's probably about 40 degrees I mean it is absolutely this weather has absolutely sucked but what are you gonna do there's not much you can do about it so we deal with it and we go from there but uh, yeah, you can see it's all overcast pan that around so you can see so it's funny I uh, I had done the video about uh, the prepared mine with John and uh, Reverend Joe Fox, and uh, of course I, I expected a uh, mixed reaction because just like like with my channel, I, you know, a lot of you guys really like me, and then I have my people that hate me, so I figured that there would be people that would come over, and here's the thing is, I absolutely have no problem with somebody saying, yeah, I really don't care for his channel, or don't care for this or whatever, that's fine, I mean, but then when I have to go into a you know, a big long spiel of why they hate them. You know, and the thing is, you know, we, we all have people that we care to, care to watch and don't care to watch, and that's the beauty of YouTube, is that you can stop watching them, you know. Um, I, like I said, personally, I find them a good information source. It's something alternative news from the standard news, and uh, I enjoy watching their channels. So it's just, uh, it's a different perspective, I think. It's probably more of what it is than anything else and uh, but you know like I said everybody is entitled to their opinion of course and uh, and that's fine that's what that's what makes us a wonderful country is uh, for the most part we still have free thought unless you know people are completely blinded and told what to think then they think differently but that's the whole different thing but anyway uh, sorry I'm stretching my neck out my neck has been sore the last couple of days Anyhow, guys, um, I'm not obviously. I gotta go get Eddie today. He was spent the weekend at his mom's, so I have to go pick him up. So Heather and I are gonna be leaving here in a little while after I put this video up to uh, go and get him. So not a whole lot is gonna get hap get done today because, like I said, they're calling for more rain, and the rain is definitely gonna be stopping as of tomorrow. So even though it's going to be cool. It's going to be perfect for actually getting outside and getting some stuff done. And uh, that is my game plan for the next several days is to get out and try to get some stuff done. Get, you know, I like over here, I think I know I've showed you guys this before, but where we took down this big maple, I want to, uh, I got to finish cleaning that up there. I got to clean up a little bit there. And then all the brush, actually, I'm going to probably pile it all together in one spot so that I can utilize that. Uh, we'll break that off and use that all as kindling later on in a year. So that'll actually be awesome. So, But I, I want to get, get that all cleaned up and get that part of it looking better over in this area. And uh, like I said, I've already said I want to clean up the wood pile and I want to look at getting uh, the front of this painted just to make it look better from the street when you're driving by just because I just don't like the way it looks but uh, so yeah there's there'll be some some action if you will going out on this weekend over the, or this weekend over the next couple of days but uh, the weather is just has not cooperated this is like the fourth or fifth straight day of rain and it just makes everything miserable I still have to get the trees planted like I said, the weather just hasn't cooperated, so that is, that's going to get done as well within the next couple of days. Uh, I have had a great influx of new subscribers to the channel, so I just want to say welcome aboard, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. Uh, you know, it's uh, this is a team effort, and that's why I always look at it with what everything that people are doing, uh, people living off-grid, homesteading, and stuff like that. You know, everybody has a different perspective of what that is, which is fine. I mean, if people can think whatever they want, again. But the thing is, we can all learn from each other, and we can glean knowledge from each other. You know, where I don't know something somebody else does, or maybe I know something that somebody else doesn't. 
and because we've been here, you know, um, we have the experience over somebody that doesn't live off grid. So it's a definitely a learning curve. You learn as you go. And again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing, actually. It just, uh, it's, you know, it's, it is, it is interesting. Um, it's a struggle at first. It's hard. It's not easy. If you want to make this move, if you decide, hey, I think I want to go off grid, realize that it's not going to be all easy. You know, um, it's going to be difficult. It's, it's, uh, there's going to be ups and downs. And, you know, when you make little achievements, and like when we got our, our running water in the house last year, I mean, that was a huge achievement for us. And it, uh, it made all the difference in the world. And, and getting the hot water and demand unit hooked up so that we could actually take a hot shower in the house. That was another huge achievement. So, you know, those are steps that you make that everybody else takes for granted because they have it automatically, you know. But when you're doing things this way, you know, these things take time. And uh, it's well worth the wait, I'll be honest with you. I mean, even though it sucked, you know, uh, for a long time, you know, with different things, there was other priorities that were being worked on. But uh, it's, uh, it's awesome, you know, when you, when you get that accomplishment, when you, when you reach something that everybody, just like I said, just taking a hot shower, you know, everybody else takes it for granted because they walk in and they flip that switch and boom, they got their hot water. Well, when you have to, you know, get the equipment and get it set up and, and do all that type of thing, and then you finally get it, and then you finally have that running water, you know, that makes a huge, huge difference in, in everything. So... You know, it, it's a work in progress, and uh, my place will be a work in progress for years to come. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Like I said, I want to do a greenhouse. I want to do uh, a root cellar into the hill. I want to put in a pond. I want to get, uh, you know, goats and chickens and, uh, and pigs, not pigs, uh, goats and chickens and um, meat rabbits, you know. So those are all things that are going to take time, and uh, we are going to get there, you know, and uh, hopefully... The world doesn't go to crap before then. <laughs> That's my hope anyway. I mean, it's, you know, it's funny. A lot of times people will say to me, you know, why do you do what you do? And I, like I said, I, as I've told everybody before, you prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. Uh, I, I don't ever live in fear. I, that, that is one thing that I will not do. I will not live in fear. And I'm not going to change, um, you know, like we still go on vacation. We still do things together. We enjoy life. Uh, you have to. You can't just focus on, I'm going to prep, 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 prep all the time. But you still have to enjoy life and, and have those little things and, and enjoy it. So that that's one of the, the key things I wanted to share with you guys too is that, uh, you know, yes, prepping is important. But life is also important. And having that time with friends and family and doing things that make you happy, you know, that's important as well. So, you know, don't stop doing those things just because, oh, my God, I got to get this and I got to get that. You know, everything in moderation, you know, and that includes prepping. You know, uh, yes, i kind of more extreme than the average person when it comes to prepping, but I enjoy prepping and I enjoy having things in place. It makes me feel comfortable and it makes me feel safe. And... Um, so that's why I do what I do. But, uh, you know, and it's also peace of mind. So that's what it's really all about. Look at the freaking nut job cat. He's just sitting there chilling out. But um, anyway, I'm going on and on and on here. And this is more for the guys that are new to the channel. They really don't know everything what's about the channel and stuff like that. I mean, anybody that's been around for a while is going to go, Oh, God, here's an add on another ramble. But like I said, I... I am blessed that I love doing this and I've wanted to do this for a long time and like I said next month will be two years that we've lived here full time and it has gone by fast and we've accomplished a lot and you know there's a long way to go and we'll get there it's just you know we will persevere we'll push through it and we'll get there but uh, yeah life is definitely a trip I can tell you that. So anyway, guys, um, I am going to jump off of here now because I want to get this video up for you. But uh, like I said, um, and now a lot of people recommended other channels to me as well. Uh, the Canadian Prepper, I definitely have watched a few of his videos and I like what he's doing as well. And there was a couple other channels obviously that were recommended as well. And I haven't checked everything out yet, but I will. But I have seen the Canadian Prepper um, before and I like what he's doing too. The whole 
context of everything that a lot of people do and also what I like to try to do is I want to try to make you think. I want to just put you outside the box and make you think and realize what a precarious situation we're all in, all of us, on a daily basis. And, you know, if you're not ready to some degree, man, you're going to be in deep crap when uh, things go to crap. So that's a big reason why I do a lot of what I do is to try to help and educate people and make them think. And, uh, you know, and you don't have to think like I do. You can think any way you want to. But, uh, you know, if you get yourself even, like I say, a two-week supply of food and water put ahead, you know, you're ahead of 95% of the people. So, I mean, think about that. That little bit of money invested for two weeks is going to put you in a greater advantage than 95% of the people in this country. That's amazing to me. But uh, it is what it is. So anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to get inside. i got a cup of nice hot tea waiting for me. And uh, we got the fire going, so it's nice and warm in the, in the house. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So remember, um, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. It's very important. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, guys, it's STD. One step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. You will reach your goals, whatever they are. It doesn't necessarily have to be prepping. It can be anything that you want to obtain and you're driving for it. You know, don't let anybody hold you back. Do what you, you know, work on those things and you'll get there. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.